guests welcome to my home studio my name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos art videos crafts DIYs recipes mixed media happy mail and hauls and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video so without further ado I have a haul from paper and ink arts as you can see from the bag right there it's very glary sorry there you go there's the receipt <laughs> paper and ink arts as it were and I got automatic pens how cool now they put their stuff in these nice plastic bags that are sturdy like the thickest ziploc on earth <laughs> and I appreciate that because that is how I am going to store these so I got all of these and then I got also a set of five Mitchell they're called Mitchell witch it's called a Mitchell witch pen set of five and those are these right here okay and they these are basically dip pens for like fountain pen dip pens and they are so cool I can't even tell you I'm going to have such a ball playing with all of these you know this makes me happy so they are all different sizes and I am just lining them up in order of width size from smallest to largest as it were there we go now you're gonna be able to see it okay so those are all the tips I don't know why they call them Mitchell Witch Pens, but they do. I'll have to research that. I'm sure there's some sort of um, literature on that. So, um, in any event, um, I cannot wait to play with these. And these are all different sizes, and I can't really read it because I don't have a loop. And it's engraved in this part of the nib so basically what you do is you dip it in to ink fountain pen ink and then it holds some of it right there and then it flows down through there and you just dip it and go and do your thing okay so those are the um, Mitchell Witch Pens. And then, well, let's see. I also got a set of five split automatic pens. Okay. So, these were all together. But you can tell because those are split and the other ones are not. All right, so your guess is as good as mine as to which there's six of them that are split. Actually, that one's split, this one's split. So I don't know which one goes with which, but let's just put all the split ones together. Those are kind of split, but not as split as the other ones, like these three. I think it's these five. One, two, three, yeah. I would say those five go together. Well, this is fun, right? It's like putting a puzzle together. I love puzzles. Don't you? My friend goes to her beach house like two or three times a year and they always get puzzles. She got me this puzzle, but then she decided to do it. <laughs> I 
And she brings me peanut butter fudge and peanut butter saltwater taffy. Yum, my favorite. And this is late in life that that's my favorite because I always ate chocolate fudge. I like the chocolate fudge with the nuts, but for some reason, and I have made peanut butter fudge. I tasted peanut butter fudge for the first time, I think, in the 90s, like 1995, so. All right, in any event, because I can veer off in any direction, <laughs> well, let's get back to this Happy Meal here. Okay, so I do believe these are the split ones, so smallest to largest is how I set those up. Um... So you can do all sorts of things. And as you can imagine, what you do is you just dip the pen into the fountain pen ink and then start writing. Now this takes some major skill to do, but it is doable and I think it's going to be fun. Okay. Okay. So this one is an automatic pen, and this is made in England, and this is the number seven. Look at that. Okay, you see the tip on there? Okay, so when you dip it in, you see that opening diamond shape right there? The ink actually stays in there. So you can get a few strokes in. Like if you're doing copper plate, people do copper plate using these um, automatic pens. Um, and wow, gorgeous. So anyway, it just stayed, the ink stayed, you dip the ink into your bottle of ink, fountain pen ink, and then you start writing whatever it is you're going to write. So in any event, this is the number seven. This is the number eight. See, this is the number nine. Oh, I guessed right because we're styling. I didn't even look at the numbers. This doesn't have a number. This is the number 10. Look at that. Okay, and the one that doesn't have a number, this is what it looks like. A full-on rake. Look at that. How cool is that? All right. This one is the number one. So you can see the tip size there. And they all have those, that diamond chamber right there. You can see it to hold the ink. This one is the number two. This one is the number three. There you go. This one is 3A. I got all the ones that they had, so. This one is the number four. See, I guessed good. And how these go in order, because I did not look at the numbers, like I said. This is 4A. If you just look at the tips, you can pretty much tell. This one is the number 5. Sweet. And you see those little teeth in there? This is the number 6. And then this one is the number 6A, the biggest one. Wow, neat. You can do a lot of fun things with these. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, plus these five, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19. So I have 19 new automatic pens, as it were. 
and the one set of Mitchell Witch pens. See how convenient. And um, I'm just going to keep this right in here together with that. I didn't want my address showing, which is why I put the clip on. So there's that. All right, guys. I cannot wait to play with these. I think I'm going to try to use this for swatching to start off with and just playing um, in my planners and my one little word and just playing, you know, just freely practicing writing and um, playing with different inks see how different inks and different papers work with these pens so anyway that is my haul and if you like what you saw i hope you do consider subscribing to my channel and i wish all you folks a very beautiful day peace out